The injured Finn naturally tense. Brulwa favoring gloves. On your marks and get set. Well, there's nothing wrong with the Misto's legs, but obviously the arm can't cope. Sadly, he's pulling out. Meanwhile, Brulwa is unscathed and confident. Frenchmen are normally more respectful of their cars than this. The last car, and Brulwa is now in the mood. It's now all in a quick sprint. The time, 32.6 and consolation and treatment for a despondent Finn. Not an event that would likely give John Paul many qualms. Oops! That can't be for the knacker's yard after that. Well, John Paul might have hurt his leg, but it doesn't show. Well, he really can't get enough of this challenge. You obviously don't need jacks in Iceland. Oh, it's very fast. 22.2. Wallace with a third. Oh, I think he's forgotten there's a finishing line to this. And Capes must appreciate the legwork of Iceland's now most famous panel beater. Dusko, the tough man with a soft heart. Walders, for whom Sigmarsson has a high regard. <laughs> Difficult to say who touched first there. Certainly the Dutchman's car is off first. John Paul obviously knows his stuff about this man, who clearly has no love for French cars, which are proving stubborn for Dusko. This is very fast indeed. 18.1, and it puts him in the lead. But Dusko could beat Brewa for fourth place. Yes, 24.6. Now, this is unexpected. Walders has hurt himself, and the injury count in this event is mounting. Grizzly, lifting no problem. Running's another matter. And you can bet Kate isn't going to handle the cars the way he does his budgies. On your mark, get set. Told you so. He's after Walders in a big way. Believe you me, that car is no toy. Fast though this is, the final sprint will matter. He's lost none of his well-known speed. He's beaten Walders, but by less than one second. Back down the course, Grizzly's in trouble. He seemed to slip and crack his head against the first car. The grass has proved greasy. And not many things put this man on his back. 